Morning guys, this is the Tech Prepper. Hope you're all doing well. Just a quick update video. I am in the middle of producing that final uh, BBS 101 video, the long one. And I do like the direction I took with that video insofar as I spent the last three to four months learning everything there was that I could learn about on managing and setting up BBS and building a community over radio. So that's the direction I'm going to continue for 2025 is each quarter dive into something new, start from first principles, and then at the end of three or four months, share it with you guys on what I've learned. So I just want to give you a quick preview into what I am looking at for Q2 uh, since April is rapidly approaching. So one of the things that I wanted to debunk is this idea of how easy it is to do amateur radio direction finding. And yes, there are tools like the Kraken SDR, which look like it make it very easy. But I want to explore that whole concept. So Joe Domaleski out of Fayetteville, Georgia, Great Ham, has a 101 and 102 series where he has some very simple techniques. And I like how he starts from first principles. So there's two radios involved. One is the radio that we will be using to... I track down the hidden transmitter or the fox, that guy over there. And I like how he's incorporated uh, backcountry skills into the equation. So number one, I'm just going to be probably using for the next few months, the Yaesu VX6R or my FT60. And I'll be pairing that with some type of directional antenna. This is a 70-centimeter Yagi that Chameleon sent me some time back. And I like it because it all collapsed down and it's a fairly small package. So very simple techniques. I'm not even going to be using an attenuator to start because I want to use those low-level techniques first. The second thing that I liked about what Joe did on his series is that he incorporated land navigation and traditional mapping compass work. Big fan of my Sunto MC2 base plate compass. I pair that with uh, UTM maps that I print myself and then also UTM grid square. And then I will pull coordinates off of my Garmin standalone GPS to plot my position on the map. And the nice thing about what he does is he'll take three different bearings to triangulate the hidden transmitter. So we're going to get into all of that. I've got a dry run exercise to do with my guys in a few weeks here. So we'll capture that. In terms of the transmitter, I wanted to go very simple and use gear that I had already. And I uh, have a bunch of these older Baofangs, and I bought a bunch of these extended battery packs. Uh, these are the BL5L, and what I like about them is that they have the 1.7 millimeter jack here for power. Well, it turns out that the little microcontroller that I found, which seems to be popular for Fox Scenting, is the uh, Bionix uh, BFCon. Uh, microcontroller and it's cool because it takes power from the extended battery and then just plugs directly into uh, the Baofeng. You don't need to use Vox for this. So right now it's going through its thing here and the other cool thing about it is that the uh, creator of this decided to allow you to program it using a USB cable but you can also send it DTMF codes to control the operation of the hidden transmitter remotely to start stop it but also to configure everything so that's the route that i went and it's actually pretty cool let's go ahead and turn this on oh we just missed the id sequence here all right so we'll talk a little bit more uh, this is a morse code decoder app that i just downloaded for the first time on uh, my android here so we're going to wait for the transmitter to beacon and the cool thing is Let's turn this up, way up. So right there, KT7RUN, that's my call sign. It properly IDs. Let me turn this off here. And it was kind of cool. I just hit the uh, DTMF keypad sequence. Uh, C1 or C then 1 was the uh, command to set it. And then I looked up the table and uh, sent it across these two digit codes closing with a pound sign. So really cool stuff to get this gear in place. Gotta tell you, very excited. I've got a big bang hunt coming up uh, at the end of uh, this experience here, but I wanna share with you the whole journey. Again, I am not the expert, but uh, just wanna share with you how I'm not gonna be looking for videos to make. I'm gonna make videos that have a progressive build that add value to my toolkit, and hopefully you guys will follow along. All right, guys, I'm the Tech Prepper. Be strong, be safe, and be prepared. And yeah, these videos are unedited just due to all the stuff I have going on. 
Also, I just finished up uh, MCOM Tools R4. Just got to do a few technical things, write up the release notes and the documentation. That should be going live in a few weeks as well. So everything's going good over here in the TTP, uh, I guess, HQ. Cheers, all.